What's going on guys? Hope you're all having an amazing day so far. I really do appreciate you clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name's Blake and I'm a full-time Australian reseller. What that means is I go to places like op shops, markets and garage sales to try and find the very best items to be able to go ahead and resell them on eBay and sometimes Facebook Marketplace. So if that's something that interests you, definitely continue watching this video and also hit that subscribe button and the like button because it really helps me out and we're growing an awesome and very fun community here. I've found myself with a couple hours spare today so what we're doing we're going to poke our heads into a couple of oppies and see if we can't find some really good stuff to resell on eBay or at the very least at least find some bread and butter. Haven't been properly sourcing for a while and my stock levels are starting to run pretty low so we definitely need to find some items today. Anyway let's stop dicking around and let's get straight into the video. Let's go to the first oppie. As you would have seen as we came into the store guys, it's half price on all shoes, that's the first place I went and to no one's surprise there was absolutely nothing, it had been properly cleaned out. Naturally my next place to go was over to the men's jeans, we found this pair of Lee Coopers here, just bread and butter stuff guys, pretty good, $5, that's going to bring me around about 30 Right next to them is a pair of Levi's Slight Curve Classics. But looking at them, did a bit of a check and I just really wasn't convinced. So of course, I did end up leaving these ones behind. Now check out these boardies, let me know what you would have done. The pair of Rusties, not the best brand, $6 on the price tag, I usually would leave these behind. But just look at the print, I did pick them up just because of the floral pattern alone. We found the full zip quick silver jumper. Now this one, $8, bit of a risk but I did take it because we're coming into winter. Alright, first stop down, we've got about three or four to go, but overall it wasn't too bad, just bread and butter stuff. I did end up leaving those Levi's behind, so yeah, eight bucks. Wasn't really sure of the authenticity, the style, all that sort of stuff, so I just left them behind. If you're in doubt, leave them behind. They were probably fine, but I just left them behind anyway. And the Lee Cooper jeans, they're a bit of a slower seller, and they'll probably bring about 30 to $40 but I know that they're gonna sell pretty well and I'll definitely make my money back on them. Unfortunately, when they came out into the light, because it is quite a dark and dingy op shop in there sometimes, when it came into the light, there was a bit of a mark down the bottom cuff of the pants, but they'll wash out quite easily. So I'll do that as soon as I get home. But for now, we're heading straight over to the next one. First place I wander to in any op shop is the men's shoes and absolutely nothing in here guys. The brands are absolute garbage. There was nothing there to pick through. Here's a tidy little brand for five bucks, Jeep. You wouldn't really think it, but some of these clothes can actually go all right. So definitely do your comp research. We've got the Rip Curl Mirage board shorts. Now, if you watched my last What's Sold video guys, we sold a pair of these over to Ireland for a good amount of money so these are gonna go all right after a bit of a wash they should be pretty good and pants look we got a miserable two pairs of jeans left super dry one of my favorite brands to be finding seven dollars there probably a little bit steep but i know we're gonna get at least 30 for this one Katmandu, this is quite a nice little jumper top looking thing very very thin and definitely not touching it for nine bucks RVCA, Ruka, an excellent brand to keep an eye out for guys and for five bucks I'm going to be picking this one up every day of the week. We're looking at about 30 to 40 there for that one. Now this one guys, what would you have done? Let me know in the comments below. This DVD player thing, it has been selling for around that $125 mark per the comp on the screen but I did leave it behind for 20 bucks. What would you have done? All right, so we're just out of the second store, and so far, I reckon we're actually doing okay. We haven't found any grails, no massive high sellers, but overall, we got some really good bread and butter stuff, and I'm pretty happy with how we're going. 
they had yellow tags for two dollars everything that had a yellow tag was two dollars so we were able to get those board shorts for only two dollars so i'm pretty happy with that considering we just recently sold some so i'm fairly confident we'll get them sold in a pretty short space of time but yeah we've probably got about one maybe one and a half days worth of listings i do between 15 and 20 a day usually getting that 20 mark so i think we're probably pretty close to that but we're not done yet we're heading to some more op shops and thankfully they're all in the one strip because school traffic is just starting This big stack of shoes definitely caught my eye. There's nothing really good up there. Or so I thought at first. Keep watching, because uh, there was a hidden gem sitting right in front of my eyes. Heading over here to the other side of that stack, there was absolutely nothing on this side, and I'm actually serious this time. Rivers, Anko, and Lowe's. Not really good brands that you want to be seeing in your op shops. Heading over to the men's shoes, and it wasn't much better. There's really nothing here at all. There's a pair of Puma footy boots here. It's coming into footy season, so I did contemplate it, but they're a little bit rough, and Puma isn't really the best brand to be finding. This grey Nichols little fleece thing, it's, uh, it's nice, but I do think that it is not legit. It's acrylic, but it's just, yeah, something's just a little off about it. And the official AFL zip up jacket sydney swans this one here it's gonna be a pretty good little pickup this one will sell well especially being in footy season and five bucks i'm gonna take that one every day of the week and we're back at that little stack and i was looking at the jeans below and i didn't even realize these ones were merrells five dollars on the merrells absolutely gonna take them that is an absolute killer find and we've got the Sportscraft Ladies Jeans, guys. These will sell for about 30 bucks. Just a really good bread and butter item to be ticking along in the background of the store while we search for the bigger things. All right, there we go, guys. Third oppie done. Pretty good little run in there. Those Merrells were a really good pickup. I can't believe I walked straight past them at the very beginning. I was there looking at the ladies' jeans underneath, and I just see Merrell written across the side, and I felt so dumb because they're one of my favorite brands, and it just completely bypassed me. But we got them in the end. Really, really good condition. Chuck them in the wash, give them a bit of a whirl, and I reckon they're gonna be really, really good sellers. Merrell's sell for me so damn quick. Yeah, we've got a couple of good things in there. Not as good as the other ones, but oh, I ended up chatting to the lady in there behind the counter. She hasn't seen me for a while because I haven't been out sourcing, but it's one of my favorite parts about coming to the op shops is having a chat to the people here. They absolutely love it, and it brightens up their day sometimes, just when someone is really appreciative and really willing to have a chat to them. So it was really, really great to see her, and I'm sure we'll see her again very, very soon because I'm planning on coming out a little bit more. I was just being so focused on demolishing my death pile, but now that that's done, we're gonna be out here sourcing all the time. Gonna keep building up those relationships and hopefully it helps both in a personal sense for me and for them, but also for a business sense, being able to get some better deals and be able to find some better stock. Anyway, I'm gonna stop yammering on. Let's get over to the fourth one. Oh, look here, Uniting's got the old fancy flags going today. It must mean there's some good stuff in here, fingers crossed. <laughs> This jacket caught my eye, but when I saw the price tag of 75 bucks, I walked away. Didn't even bother looking that up. But no shoes either, unfortunately. But how cool is the print on this Mambo board shorts here? End of summer? Yeah, but someone will pick them up because these are really cool. I only paid the five bucks. They're definitely coming with me. And what do we got here? We got the vintage 1999 Taz from the Looney Tunes. Oh, I did end up picking this one up for $2. I thought it was a pretty damn good deal. But then I looked up some comps and he's actually pretty worthless. So I put him back on the shelf where he belongs. Sadly, we ended up leaving this shop with only the one pair, but they should still go okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, we only got the one pair there, but uh, the guy got grumpy at me because I wanted a receipt. So that's always fun. All right, we've just pulled up to the last one here. You can see it in the corner there. It's the Uniting Church. And I have a love-hate relationship with this one. Their prices are just all over the place. Sometimes they price big brands for cheap, and sometimes they price shit brands for expensive. So I really don't know what they're trying to do, but it's okay. Every now and then I'll pop in because they sometimes do have a good bargain for me. So hopefully today is one of those days. I did come in here about two days ago, but I didn't have a real good dig through. So I'm thinking that we might have a chance of finding some stuff, but we are late in the day. 
Everyone's going to be tired. They probably haven't put out new stuff. People have probably been in throughout the day. So you don't know until you get in there, do you? So fingers crossed, we're going to have a pretty good run at it and finish the day off strong. I was looking for some shoes, but this cap spotted my eye. Just the filler cap, you know, filler does okay. Two bucks, not complaining. Rod and gun, I got myself a little bit worked up, but then I saw they wanted 10 bucks. I need to apologize, guys. I, uh, I might have lied to you. I did say that Uniting was going to be our last one, but I forgot the fact. Well, I didn't forget. I just wasn't going to go. But I forgot the fact that we live literally one minute drive away from one of the best op shops in Ballarat. So they're not gonna shut just yet. We might as well poke our head in, see if we can't find anything. I think I went in there like yesterday or the day before, but ignore that. These guys are really good at putting new stuff out. So fingers crossed we can find at least one more good thing to finish the day off strong. Well guys, as much as I love Bunnings, that's not where we're going for our last stop of the day. You can probably see it there in the middle right we are going over to the Salvos. If you didn't guess it, right around the corner from home. Let's get in there and see what we can find. Spotted this pair of Converse in the women's section and it was a really high sole that actually stuck out to me. The one stars, $3 on the price tag, but there was a little bit of cosmetic damage sitting there. But the big heels and stuff, they stood out to me, so I did end up picking them up. Three bucks, plenty of life left in them. And what do we got here? He just put them out right in front of me, the cat boots. Look at some of these comps, guys. These things go really well, and as you can see, the soles and the actual boot itself, they're in like new condition. Yeah, there's no laces, but we can easily fix that up. Five dollars, that is an absolute bargain. I'm picking them up every single day of the week. And look at this, this got me going guys, the dragon jeans, fully Kevlar lined and everything. Look at these comps guys, they range anywhere from $70 to $100. I'll probably be shooting for around that $80 to $100 mark because these are in perfect condition. There's not a single mark on them and they are just a really, really good find guys. Probably the find of the day if I'm being quite honest with you. And up in the caps, you can see me grabbing it here, Jack Daniels, old number seven brand alcohol caps or alcohol anything really look it up because they go really really well people love this stuff and for two bucks you can't go wrong with that holy shit holy crap guys day-to-day -day off shops can be so different i went in there like yesterday and there was nothing but we found about 200 dollars worth of stuff just in the one op shop and <laughs> i don't even know what to say that's only like four really, really high quality items. It's probably, yeah, as I said, close to $200. Those dragon jeans, I couldn't believe it. Fully Kevlar lined and everything. That is one thing you must take away from this video though. Never use the word Kevlar on eBay. It's a Vero word and it's gonna get taken down. There is a comp that I did show and it did have Kevlar. And I'd say it's because it sold really quick before eBay picked up on it, but just don't put Kevlar right lined and people know exactly what you're talking about dragon jeans guys an absolute bolo and those cat boots really really good brand to look out for guys really sells very very well sell through rate is great those ones there were like new and for five dollars i was just never going to put them down yes one of them didn't have laces but i got some brand new laces at home i'll just whip them in really quick and that won't be an issue at all so you guys we're actually done now all the op shops are closed but it has been a phenomenal day i reckon now that last op shop was just ridiculous i can't believe what we found and it just finished the day off on a really good note we've got a few days worth of listings and that's what we came out here to do and we succeeded very very well in doing that thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it hit the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one check out this video here it's a really great one, showing you some great items that are selling right now on eBay. Have an awesome night, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy reselling.